Hi everyone, James here from F9 Audio and welcome to this short video where I'm going to show you how to install the F9 Tracks content for Ableton Live. You will have received a zip file from us. The first thing I want you to do is to back that zip file up. You are probably going to dive into the projects and save over them and, and make changes to them and it's always great to be able to get back to the original status of the actual pack. So we highly recommend that. The next thing we're going to do is decompress it. I'm simply going to double click it here. This uh, zip file will decompress with all of the major decompression utilities across Windows and Mac. Now, for the purposes of this video, we're going to be working on a Mac, but everything I'm going to show you will work exactly the same way on a PC. It's just that the OS windows will be different. We're also, for this example, using the F9 Tracks release Motion V1 Tech House. You may have purchased a different Tracks uh, release, but the actual filing structure will be identical inside. This is the resulting folder, and let's open it up. There's two bits of documentation inside the F9 Tracks license agreement and written versions of these installation instructions. The session note folder contains PDF documents with session notes for all of the major projects inside the pack. They've proven ever so popular with our users over the years and we highly recommend you have a look through them. This is the main project folder and is the one that we're going to be installing now. So let's open Ableton. So I'm here in Ableton 9.7.3 and we've got two options here. The first I'm going to show you is how to install it into your user library. With the uh, live browser open, I'm going to click on the user library and I'm going to bring my mouse pointer just to the right here and in the blank area underneath the folders, I'm going to right click, which will work on a PC or a Mac or control click and we're going to go to show in Finder or show in Explorer. Now, that will bring your live user library up in an OS window, so Finder for Mac or Explorer for Windows. And we're literally going to take the main project folder from the download and drop it into the Ableton user library. Now, you can copy or you can move it. It's totally up to you. Live will take a little minute to actually re-update its database, but very soon it's visible there and we can open it. Now, this second method is perfect if you like to have your sound library on an external drive. First of all, take the folder that we got at the end of the unzipping process and move it somewhere very safe on your filing system where it won't move. Then we come over to Live's browser and we're looking for this icon, which is Add Folder on the first tab of the browser. Click that and then navigate within your filing system to the position that you've put it. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, we're just um, using my desktop and I'm going to click on the internal folder there, which is the main project folder. That project folder will now appear here on the left-hand first tab of Live's browser, and it's accessible from every single project that you're working on. For the purposes of this video, I'm actually using the F9 Motion V1 Tech House tracks release. You may have purchased a different tracks release, but the procedure will be the same and the folder structure will be fairly similar as well. What I've just done quickly here is highlighted the five main projects. So we're just going to open one now, this one called New Jersey. As you can see on the right hand of the Arrange page, the uh, session notes are replicated using the live lessons format. It's really handy to have these on the Arrange page. There's tons of tips on mixing, musical bits, arrangement, etc, etc. But most importantly, the projects are built heavily on multi-sampled instrument and sound menus. Now they're all running in simplers and that means that this pack is completely compatible with Live Standard and Live Suite. But they are also built mainly in Live 9.1. So that means if you're using Live 9.1, 9.5 onwards, you can click the upgrade button on any of the simplers and uh, you have access to the cytomic filters. Now, if you're a live suite user, you can dive further into these patches. If you right click on the top of the bar of any of the simplers or control click on a Mac and select simpler to sampler, it will swap the plugin out completely behind the scenes so nothing changes, the sound is exactly the same, and then you have full access to all of the sampler controls. Now we have left a lot of the live racks actually open so you can see the processing that we're doing. But we've not just included them on the projects. All of the instruments used in this release or in any tracks release are also available as live racks. So I've just created a blank live project here and then navigated to the folder that we've recently installed. 
And inside that, we're looking for a live racks folder that will have its own substructure within it, full of live racks. This is the analog base collection from the uh, motion pack. And we can either double click them or just drag them into any MIDI channel that we may, we may be using either in session or project view. Now, the processing will actually change depending on the actual type that you select. And quite a lot of work has gone into building these racks. We're very proud of them. And on this particular release, which is Motion Tech House, I think there's more than 120 live racks for you to use. Now, the only thing that we do ask is that you keep the folder structure completely as it is so that none of the live racks lose their samples. But this is also another good reason to actually back up your zip file right at the beginning so you can always get back to the data. Now, we know you're probably going to want to dive straight into the main projects, but please don't overlook the startup pages that we've also included, as these come preloaded with a ton of sounds and some useful examples of MIDI parts of how they can be used. Now, there's also a completely blank startup session with absolutely no MIDI data on it, just loaded with sounds ready for you to start creating. And every single one of the main projects also has a beats only startup page. So if you like the drums from one of the productions, you can just pull that up with all of the instruments all set up and sounding good, ready to create com something completely fresh. Any additional looped content that we've created for the tracks release will be available in a session view project and also within the main folder. All looped content will come with .asd files, so it's effectively pre-warped, and you can just pick any of the files up and drop it onto your production, either in session or arrangement view. So that's it for this live installation video. If you run into any issues, don't forget to contact us at info at f9-audio.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.